Hello, my wrist-free warriors. This is a spicy and strong 30-minute flow. We're gonna really strengthen the core and the legs. It's gonna get your heart rate up and it's gonna make you sweat just a little bit. If you have a sec, subscribe to my channel, please, or check out my Patreon further below. If you're ready to get on with your practice, let's begin. So we're gonna start this practice lying down on the back because we're straight into the core work. Come to lie down, bend your knees, and bring your feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna spend a little bit of time to warm up, but we're really gonna get into it today. So, to start off with, draw one knee into your chest, give it a little snuggle, and then let's change the legs. You can start slow, deep breathing, the breath will speed up in this practice, but let's try and keep it calm where possible. Let's do one more. This time as you bring the knee in, we're gonna curl up, nose towards the knee, hold for three. See if you can relax the shoulders a bit. Two. And one, head down, change the legs. Exhale as you come up, squeeze the knee, hold three. And continue to breathe. Two. And one, bring the foot down. This time, hands around the back of your head. Gently lift your head and shoulders up off the floor. We're gonna float both feet up, knees bend. Slowly bring one knee into the chest. And can you crunch in a little bit? And then release, change legs. The other knee comes in, crunch in a little bit. Change the legs. See if you can get the nose towards the knee. Hello, kiss, kiss. And then change one more time. And then we're gonna release, place both feet flat. Bridge, gently lift your hips up, squeeze your butt muscles, holding for three, two, and one. Let's heat it up a little bit, bring the hips down. Again, cradle your head, curl the head and shoulders off the floor, both feet lift. This time straighten one leg diagonally away from you, and we're gonna turn opposite elbow to the knee, bicycles, switching for 10, Nine, eight, nice and easy, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little rest, lower down, glute bridge, hips come up just for three, for two, and one. We're gonna build it again. Head supported, both feet float, you can do it. This time, 20 bicycles. One, two, three. We go a little bit slow. Five, six, really straighten the leg. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Easy peasy, 15. You've got this. 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, we're gonna keep the knees up, drop the head, keep the feet floating. Reach both hands towards the sky, and now squeeze your knees and your feet together. We're gonna to curl up, reach the fingers towards the heels. 10, and down. Nine, down, keep your knees above your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, nearly there, two, one, feet down, head down, bridge, lift up, hold, three, strong glutes, two, just relocate my t-shirt, and one, lowering all the way down, bring your feet together so they're touching, we're going to float one knee, one foot up, Single leg glute bridge. Push up for five and down. Four, three, two, tuck the hips under a little bit. One, replace, get ready to switch. And up we come, five, four. We're gonna really strengthen the legs in this practice. Three, as well as your core and your abs. Two, and one. From here, hug both knees in. 
We're going to take a little rock forwards and back, coming up. We're going to find a way to stand whatever way works for you if you're working with a wrist injury. Coming all the way to stand at the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Let's take a big breath. We're going to need some strength. From here, chair pose, arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, stand. Again. And stand. This time, arms right up by the ears. Step the left foot back, back knee down. Tuck the toes. We're going to come up. Five, straighten the front leg. And down. Four. Three, keep your chest up. Chin up, as they say. Two. And one, back knee comes down, untuck the toes, release the hands. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach the arms forwards, lengthen the front leg a little bit. Let's do that again. Inhale, testing your balance. Exhale. One more. This time, high lunge, tuck the back toes and reach both arms forwards. We're gonna step and lift the knee into the chest. Hold, hover, wobble if you need to. The foot comes down, mountain pose, take a breath. Whew. Chair pose, arms parallel to the floor. And stand, same again. Last one, arms up by the ears. Step the right foot back this time, back knee down. From here, we're coming up for five. Four, keep the breath easy, you can do this. Three, two, you can always surprise yourself by how much you can do if you have a little confidence. If you don't, I can help with that. We're gonna lower the hands down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, reach the arms forwards, front leg lengthens. And again. This movement, really stabilizing the outer hip and the inner thigh, and now arms up, back knee up, arms forwards, you got it, big step forwards, knee comes up and in, and let's hold, take a pause, mountain pose, we're gonna build on this, chair pose, arms up by the ears, this time lift your heels, slowly lower down as far as feels good, hold, Keep your heels off the floor. Come all the way to stand. Heels stay off the floor. Wobble. Five. All the way down to your lowest point. Back up. Four. Heels are off the floor. Maybe. And down. Three. Like a yo-yo. Two. One. Heels come down. Arms come down. Chair pose. Step the left foot back, back knee down, arms forwards, we're gonna hold here. You might even lift the front toes, you might reach the hip back, big stretch, arms working. And now arms up by the ears, we're gonna step up, knee comes into the chest, hold, arms forwards, holding for five. Let's settle into the balance, four, Three, if your breath has sped up, I'm sure you can hear mine too. Two, arms gonna stay forwards. One, high lunge, back knee down. And now big step up, knee comes up and in. Five, step back, knee down. Four, control. Three, nice and precise. Like a can-can dancer, two, and one, hold, and replace the foot. We're gonna come all the way down, low squat, and we're gonna roll down, because we need a bit of core work. From here, support the head in your hands. Bicycles for 20. One, two, five, six, nine, 10, keep going. 14, 15, 16, you're nearly there. 18, 19, 20, head down, knees stay up. Float the knees, float the feet. Reach the hands to the heels. We're curling up. 10, 
and down. Nine, eight, seven, and six, and five, four, relax the neck, three, two, one, feet down, knees bend, take a big breath, but we're going to keep going, bring the feet together, float one knee up, optional extra, straighten the leg, point the foot this time, lifting up for five, and down, four, three, really push through the heel, two, come on, you got it, one, lower down, change legs, pressing up, five, the leg could be straight or bent, three, two, one, bring the feet together, hug the knees in, take a little rock, and we're going to rock all the way up and find your way to stand. And from here, chair pose. Right foot steps back, this time knee down. Reach the arms forward, send the hips back. We're going to hold in the stretch. Couple of breaths, doesn't matter if you've gone back as far as me or not. And then coming up, hands reach forwards. Big step, holding in the balance, five, four, smooth the breath out, three, that's it, two, step back, knee comes down, here we go, can-can time, five, <laughs> wobble with me, and back down, four, three, two, and one, hold, breathe here, and we're going to replace the foot mountain pose from here, chair pose, arms forwards, this time forward fold all the way down, let's take a moment here, you can bend the knees, you can catch the elbows and take a little rock if it feels good, and let the neck release. We're going to roll back up to stand, keeping the heart rate up, mountain pose. From here, chair pose, arms forwards, left foot steps back, our first warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straight in the front leg, triangle pose. We're just going to hold this here, press into the feet and expand the arms. You could be looking forwards or even up at the top hand if that feels good. Just a moment of stillness in quite an energetic flow. Slowly release, bend the front knee. We're going to come up into a high lunge here. Reach the arms in front of you and try this. Make a fist with one hand, cover the fist with the other like paper covers rock. We're going to bring that into the chest. Twist to the right, so you're turning towards the bent knee. Option one, breathe here. Option two, elbow outside the knee in the balance. Take the back leg as straight. Check your front knee is right above the front ankle. Two more breaths. And then release, step forwards, mountain. Let's take a big inhale, big exhale. Chair pose, arms parallel to the floor. Right foot back, warrior two on the other side. Breathing in, let's stretch. Reaching triangle pose. This shape is all about expansion. Imagine the arms and the legs are reaching out spine long and strong. So we start to strengthen the back muscles, which is an even more important part of the core than the abs, I think. One more breath. And then coming up, warrior two, 
Take a pause, take a moment. High lunge, lift the back heel. Make a fist in the other hand, cover the fist, bring it to the chest. Turning to the left, maybe the elbow comes outside the knee, maybe it doesn't. Either way, we're gonna hold. This is strengthening your obliques, your side abs. Three, two, one, high lunge, and step forwards, mountain pose. We're gonna start linking it all together. From here, arms by the ears, heels up, chair pose. We're gonna go down really slow. Go down as low as feels manageable, and then we're gonna slowly come up, really slow, deliciously slow. Feet come down, hands come down. Chair pose. Warrior two, left foot steps back. Reversing our first half moon. As always, they're floating in these wrist-free practices. Hand floating, back leg lifting and floating. Holding for five. Expand the arms, lengthen the top leg, four. Three, if you fall over, no problem. It's getting back in that matters. Two, one, warrior two, hands to your hips. We're gonna step the back foot forwards about a third of the way and really square the hips to the front of the mat for pyramid pose. Right hip moves back, chest lifts, and folding forwards. Imagine you're getting longer in the spine. Front leg really strong and active. If you're very flexible, you could bring the hands onto the shin or even fingertips onto the floor. But keep moving your right hip to the back of your mat. Three. Two. One. Bend your front knee to come up, arms forwards. We're gonna bring the knee into the chest again, holding here. See how high you can get the knee this time. Really lift it towards the armpit and replace the foot. Feet come together this time. And we're gonna fold forwards. Fingertips lightly resting on the ground, no weight in the hands. Shift the weight into the right foot. We're gonna bend the left knee and bring the left heel to the butt. So check, your knees are together. The heel is coming in. Flamingo, holding three. Very little weight in the hands, two. Start to bend the right knee, we're gonna stand up on one leg. One, powerful push, left knee comes back up. Mountain pose, heroic effort. Shake it out. Oh. Let's go second side, chair pose. Right foot steps back, warrior, two. From here, reversing our first half moon on this side. The top leg is straight. It's like you're pushing through that top heel into a wall for five. Four, find stillness of mind. Three, two, one, warrior two. Hands onto your hippy hips and stepping the back foot forwards for pyramid. Both legs lengthen, chest goes forwards and then down. The trick to this pose is pressing into the feet and sending that left hip to the back of the mat this time. You can place the hands on the shin or on the floor, whatever works. Big stretch in that front thigh at the back. Two. One, start to bend the front knee to come up. And this time the right knee coming up and in. Lift it as high as you can this time. Higher and higher and higher. And then let's release mountain pose, feet together. We're gonna fold forwards, maybe the fingers to the ground. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right foot comes to your butt, 
but then bring the knees together, knees together, squeeze in for three, flamingo. Two, that's it. And one, lifting up on one leg, keep the foot off the floor. Coming to stand, mountain pose. From here, chair. We're coming all the way down to lie down on the back. Oh no, I hear you cry. Yes, it's more ab work. So this time we're gonna float the knees hip distance apart, reach the hands towards the heels. We're starting with this one, curling up 10. Nine, see if you can keep your knees above your hips so they don't come closer. Seven, six, five, four, press your lower back into the ground. Three, two, and oh no, we're going straight into bicycles. One, hands around the head, take the elbow to one knee. One, two, three, four, we're going for 20. Six, seven, really twist, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, you can do it, 14, 15, twist, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, bend the knees, feet together, right leg or left leg up, lifting for five, glute bridge, hand down, and four, three, two, one, and no mercy, other side, lifting up for five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees come in, take a breath. We're coming back to stand. However you need to get there, finding your way all the way up. So, bring your hands to your hips and your feet together. We're gonna reach the left leg out in front, point the foot like an elegant dancer. And now with the legs straight, can you start to lift the foot? Option one, hold here. Option two, take both arms forwards, it's not so bad. Option three, send your hips back, bend the standing knee, tap the foot to the floor, come back up, five pistol squats, four. With control, three. And two, keep the leg lifted, not cheating, one. Mountain pose, chair pose, breathe in. Left foot steps back, warrior two. We're gonna reverse half moon one more time. If you want an extra challenge, fold your arms behind your back this time, catch the wrists, four. Finding your edge, wherever it is, Three, two, one, warrior two. High lunge, make a fist with one hand, cover the fist with the other. Prayer twist, elbow outside the knee. Now you have the option to stay here or we're gonna reach forwards with the chest and lift the back leg off the floor. Keep the elbow and the knee together if you're in the balance, wobbling with me, five. Lift the leg higher if you're there, four. Three, you can do it, you're nearly there. Two, I'm saying it to myself. <laughs> One, high lunge. Warrior three, arms back, chest forwards, back leg lifts again. Powerful leg, five. Four, stay strong. Three, reach the fingers back. Two, one, come to stand, mountain pose. From here, take a deep breath. Exhale. And that right leg needs a bit of a rest now, doesn't it? So, hands to your hips. Big toe comes forwards, guess what? We're gonna lift the leg. Now it gets a chance to relax. Not, <laughs> arms come forwards. 
Option to breathe here, or hips back, tap the heel for pistol squats. Five, four, three. Keep the leg lifted as high as you can. Two, and one. Mountain pose, chair pose. Right foot steps back into your warrior two. Reverse. Get ready for a strong leg. Half moon. It's our last standing balances. Option to fold the arms behind the back if you're really steady in this one. Four. Three, keep the top leg active, keep lifting. Two. One, warrior two. From here, high lunge. Make a fist, cover the fist. Elbow outside the knee, prayer twist. Maybe stay here or lean forwards. Keep the elbow and knee together. Back foot can come off the floor. Lift the leg, point the foot if you're there for four. Three, powerful pose. Challenging body and mind. Two, one, warrior. Two, high lunge, it's the last one. Warrior three, the arms go back, chest goes forwards, back leg lifts, strong as an arrow through the sky. Five, four, three, two, wobbling, one, mountain pose. Oh, give the leg a shake out. Oh, foot strong. We're going to turn the feet out, heels turn in. Once again, make a fist, cover the fist. We're going to lift the heels and come down into a squat. If it's available, bring the elbows inside the knees for a moment. And then let's lift the spine tall. I'm sending the elbows out, but I'm not putting pressure in the wrist here. Just very gently holding. A couple more breaths. Then we're going to release and come to a kneeling position. We're going to kneel tall. You can totally pad your knees by folding them out over twice if that's helpful. Tuck the toes under if that's manageable. And gently place your hands onto the back of your hips. The hips are going to move forwards and they're going to squeeze the butt muscles. Release one hand, gently circle it. You can allow the chest to rotate. We've done a lot of ab work, so we're going to stretch out the abs now and release them. This time reach the hand behind you as you turn. Option to breathe here, or if it feels manageable, the hand can gently rest on the heel, just on one side, and then turn in the chest a little bit towards the sky. Just a couple breaths, camel pose. And then slowly coming back up, replace the hand. Let's change sides, big circles. As the heart rate slows down a little bit, re-lengthen your breath. And maybe you're reaching and pausing and breathing here. Maybe the hand comes to the heel very gently. Chest turning towards the sky for three, two, and one. Slowly come up. We're going to come to sit. Coming all the way around to a cross-legged position. Have your right leg in front. Bring the fingertips in front of you. We're going to release the back now. Walk your fingertips over to your right, it will be. I'm mirroring you. <laughs> if you've got lots of space, you can come onto the back elbow, but keep that front hand walking away, kind of like a cute little bug, walking away. Big stretch in the side of the body. Let's take a big, long inhale. And let it all go. You made it. Slowly release. We're going to change the cross of the legs. This is our cool down now. It's always helpful to do the cool down just to reset the muscles 
and let everything grow and come back stronger next time. Keep the front hand walking away so you really deepen the stretch in the waist and the lower back. We're gonna come back and take one final hip stretch before we lie down. Two options. Option one, bring the feet together. Gently hold the ankles and lift your chest forwards and up. If you want to add in an extra hamstring stretch here, then option two, take the legs wide into a V-shape. We're gonna hold the legs somewhere and do the same thing. Chest lifts up and then goes forwards. Each breath getting longer now. Knowing that you've worked hard, the body adapts, comes back stronger, more flexible. And when we use strength, we can really release tension from the body, which I believe can help release tension in the mind and the thoughts. And we'll come back. I'm going to slowly come around to lie down. I'd always recommend taking a couple of minutes to rest after a strong practice. We think of it like downloading all the good stuff. It's your body, mind and heart. Remember everything and can grow from what you've just put all of your effort into. And take a big breath in and out. You could imagine you're in your favorite location. You could be relaxing at a beach, or maybe in a hammock in beautiful gardens. Somewhere you feel really at rest, really relaxed. Let your breath really soften. We're going to start to wiggle the fingers and toes reawakening. You can take a big stretch out with me if you like. We'll walk the feet in, give the knees a well-deserved hug. We're not going to do another sit-up or crunch. <laughs> but we are going to find a way to come and sit. Whatever works for you coming up. If it feels good, you could join palms, maybe close your eyes. Just taking a little bow to your magnificent effort for taking this practice today. And every time the body adapts, evolves, grows. I'm bowing to that. So thank you so much for your heroic effort in this practice. Leave me feedback below in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I also have a Patreon channel below if you want longer practices or more variety of these wrist-free flows. There's loads of content there. Check it out. Until next time, enjoy your practice and get a good massage for your legs if you can. <laughs>